Hello, my Libra family. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your weekly tarot reading for the week of December 21st through the 27th. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you if you already subscribed to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome, and please subscribe. And join me each and every day for my Quick Glance daily readings. Now, just a brief reminder, these are general readings, so take what resonates and leave the rest. So let's get started and see what your cards are indicating this week. Okay, Libra, so starting off with your first card, you have the Nine of Wands. Okay, next, the Six of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Okay, Libra, and we'll get to these cards in just a little bit. But getting back to your first card, and this is your anchor card for the reading. You have the Nine of Wands. So you're starting off your week, Libra, being very cautious, very guarded. And looking at the card here, being on watch. And on this Nine of Wands, there's even a lantern here. And protecting the flock. Now, the Nine of Wands is a card about your wisdom and strength, Libra, that you gain through experience. Each one of these wands represents a different experience that you've had. And the energy going into this holiday week is almost serving up a warning to you, Libra. Now, it could be that you think you know what to expect this week. You have your defenses up to protect yourself. And even though we do learn from experience, there's always the possibility that things can turn out differently, Libra. Sometimes people can surprise us. So with this being your anchor card for the reading, it all stems around how you're feeling, very guarded, very protected, expecting the worst, which is very possible for this is a holiday week. You might have friends and family coming over and you're not knowing what to expect with all this company. So if there ends up to be something you don't like happening this week, Libra, make sure you speak up about it. The Nine of Wands is Sagittarius's card. Very unpredictable, very restless, very independent. And this card is associated with the moon. So there could be things, some things hidden from you. And that might be what you're feeling, Libra. Something's hidden from you that might just pop up this week. The number nine energy of this card is like looking back at your past experiences, what you've done before, what has served you well, and you're ready to use that experience and information to handle whatever you're expecting this week. Now your next card is the Six of Wands. Much better energy, Libra, provided this is actually you riding the horse. Now, the Six of Wands is Leo's energy. It could possibly be a Leo coming over for the holidays. Someone that is possibly the head of the family, a role model, very charismatic, domineering, confident. This card's associated with the planet Jupiter, bringing in knowledge and openness and, you know, power, status. So my first indication seeing this card, the energy that's coming off of it is a fire sign, most likely a Leo, since, you know, this is Leo's card. So this is a Leo coming in, and this is someone who has all the, the admiration and success and recognition and praise. A very good reason why you're starting off here with the Nine of Wands energy of being ready for anything. Now, the next card, with it being the Queen of Wands, 
definitely could be a mother type figure, someone that's in charge of the family. And even though there's a lot of admirable traits with the Queen of Wands, this is a very influential person, possibly showing up because this is a holiday week, might be head of the family. A mature individual, very confident, very passionate, very dedicated to family. But this individual might be in the habit of manipulating others. Now, this Queen of Wands is very talented. She can be very inspiring. People just love to have this queen around. But sometimes she can be very impulsive, Libra. And you certainly don't want to get on the wrong side of this queen. So what I'm really picking up with all this wand energy in your reading is you're anticipating problems with family and friends coming over this week, Libra. Now, your numerology for the three cards here is number 16, which reduces down to number seven. And the number seven energy being your numerology this week is indicating forces that have to be dealt with that are beyond your control, Libra. That is what the seven energy brings in. And so with that being said, it's time to call upon your deep inner resources in, over, in order to just overcome these challenges that might be before you this week. Now let's take a look at the remainder of your cards. And your first card here is your overall energy for the reading. The Knight of Wands. More wand energy. Your crystal for the week. Hematite. Okay. And I usually pull one tea leaf card, but two came out. And you got rat and mountain. Okay. Now getting back to your overall energy card here, your knight of wands. Okay, Libra. So having the Knight of Wands energy coming in is a very fun and adventurous energy, but it's one of taking risks, possibly having a lot of fun and not seeing the consequences. In other words, not much common sense. So it can be a very reckless energy as well. This is also Sagittarius's energy. And what the Knights bring in is movement and travel and change. So I can completely feel <laughs> why your main anchor card is the Nine of Wands this week. Wands are very passionate energy. And you certainly know that you're going to have to have your guard up this week with this kind of energy and possibly company, family, friends coming over for the holiday. Now, what the Knight of Wands here does, especially as your overall energy is come swooping in and maybe goes from person to person to person. It's an individual that doesn't stay in one place very long, just very spontaneous. And with that, the rider and the horse, look at the, look at the direction they're facing. It's always important to, to look at which direction the horse is going in. This is somebody from your past coming in, Libra. So yes, it could be a friend from the past. It could be a family member you haven't seen in a while coming in. Now there's growth here on this wand. And it's not just green, it's blossoming. You could see the red coming in, which is a little bit unusual. So one thing this could mean is that things from the past will be brought up again as relatives tend to do. They'll bring up something from the past, a possible difference of opinion or something embarrassing from your past is what I'm picking up. So all the more reason you're on guard with your first card here. Okay. Now your angels and guides are suggesting the hematite crystal. 
This crystal is associated with the root chakra and it's known as the stone of the mind. It can help ground you this week because it will be needed with all this fiery energy coming in. Wow. You're going to need to recenter yourself and regain your balance back into your life. So be sure to have maybe a hematite bracelet that you can wear or a hematite crystal and keep it in your pocket. It's going to help ground you and help you to stand firm in your beliefs. Know that you're very powerful, Libra, and you can use your positive energy towards others. You're already overthinking things this week. You're tempting, you're tempting the law of attraction with what you're expecting coming in. So be sure to meditate here in advance with the hematite crystal to ground and center your energy so that you have a strong mental strength in place. And now your tea leaf card message, and actually two popped out. We've got rat and mountain. Now the rat card is indicating someone working against you behind your back. And the mountain card is indicating a major challenge to overcome. And I think you've got both this week, Libra. Now the rat card is warning you that somebody's working against you, behind your back. It advises you to be careful in all you do. All you do and say is this could be used against you. But don't accuse anyone of being this rat unless you're absolutely sure, Libra. Now, your mountain card here is indicating a major challenge. This is a mountain like directly in front of you. No easy way around it. And I think the mountain, what I'm picking up is, is an actual individual. And this card is indicating that you're going to have to face it and deal with it. So it would be pointless to try to go around it or avoid it because every which way you try is going to lead you right to the issue at hand. So this mountain is one of the individuals you're dealing with <laughs> this week and most likely whoever the rat card is because both these cards came out at the same time. So in summary this week, Libra, you're starting off with the nine of wands. But now after reviewing and seeing the rest of your cards, there's no good reason why the Nine of Wands, well, there is a good reason, not no good reason, sorry. There's a good reason why the Nine of Wands is your anchor card for the reading. You have planted all of these wands firmly in place. And you're not only protecting yourself, you're also protecting your family here. And that's what I was picking up, like watching over the flock. So the Nine of Wands is actually indicating that you expect some difficulties with family and friends coming over this week, and you're on guard. You've even got a light to illuminate, to light up everything. Every single one of the wands planted behind you is some sort of experience you had with what you're getting ready for. Now, the Six of Wands, yeah, very unusual because I feel the Six of Wands is someone else's energy that's going to come riding in, is going to be praised for whatever they've done lately. They are the role model in the family. They're successful. They're always victorious. Everybody looks up to them kind of the relative you love to hate, but you really can't, depending on if they're nice or not. And the queen of wands, I feel, is the mature individual in the family. And I keep thinking it's the mother of the family. The matriarch is the queen of wands. She runs everything. 
so she can manipulate everything and influence everything. She really, she really influences everything she comes in contact with. And even though this Queen of Wands is very well liked, she does get everything she wants her way. So yes, a very regal, influential energy coming in. And I feel this is all connected to whoever you've got coming over for the holidays, Libra. And the Knight of Wands is your overall energy. And so this is a very erratic, unpredictable, spontaneous energy coming in. And it could be someone from your past as well. Maybe just coming in, rehashing something from the past, starting trouble, stirring the pot, you might say. And this definitely can be whoever the tea leaf message, the card here, the rat card, someone working against you or behind your back. This could be a Sagittarius, either a friend or family or a neighbor, whoever it is, could be visiting for the holiday, maybe talking about you behind your back, Libra, maybe bringing up some embarrassing times from your past. So that would be a relative doing that. And just looking at the wand here. There's a lot of growth on the wand, so there's stories to tell. <laughs> and your angels and guides are telling you to have the hematite crystal. Either wear it as a bracelet or have the crystal in your pocket because you need mental strength this week, Libra. This will help ground you, keep you centered as you're dealing with all of this other energy this week. And your tea leaf message cards, rat and mountain. One and the same. Someone's working against you, talking about you behind your back, maybe bringing up things from the past, stirring the pot. So I feel this mountain is an individual this week. That's going to be your major challenge to overcome. You have to deal with this person. There's no way of getting around it. And this could be the Knight of Wands individual or energy. It could be the Six of Wands. They could be one in the same person. Or it could even be your Queen of Wands that you're just not going to be able to hide from this individual this week. That's the best way I can put it. So Libra, you do have a very challenging week this week, but it's the normal differences of personalities and opinions, dealing with family members and friends coming together for the holidays, possibly not having seen each other for some time and then catching up on all different subject matter and topics, which can really create a very explosive conversation. Just be sure that whoever is working against you, talking behind your back, address that individual in front of everyone because that is your mountain. That's your major challenge this week. You need to put this person in their place and then wish them happy holidays. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you would like to obtain further information, click on my website link below for your own private reading. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and help support my channel if you haven't already. And please join me for my daily readings or check out my channel for other tarot card readings available. Happy Holidays to my Libra family.